Hey, Cup of Sales Joe. Thanks for joining me for Another Cup, Adopting a Beginner's Mindset. I want to relate two different analogies or stories about having a beginner's mind. The first one you may have already heard from me before. When I trained and taught in martial arts, there was a belt system. There actually were 17 belts, including senior belts, between white belt, where everyone started, and black belt. And I set my goal on getting my black belt. As I learned skills and tested my proficiency and earned new colored belts, the system I was a part of also required us to perform previous requirements. So by the time you got to, oh, the 14th or 15th or 16th belt, you're spending a good amount of time showing and reviewing the prior 13, 14, or 15 belt requirements. What this did is it made sure that we never forgot the fundamentals. But I also noticed something else. If there was a basic skill that I learned when I was a, a white belt or a yellow belt, it was interesting to see how I approached it when I was a much higher rank. The ability to perform the fundamentals at a higher level is part of progressing and growing. So you can approach those things with a beginner's mind, but with the experience that you've gained over time. That's what I found was interesting in training and teaching martial artists. That when you're new, you have a high level of curiosity and a high, ex highly accelerated view of learning, but very little feel, let's say. As you progressed, you gained that feel through experience, but you also retain the curiosity and perfecting what you've already learned. And I think that's something we can all do in our work. When we go back to the basics, but we have experience and we understand better how to apply those fundamentals of our work, we become better and better and better. And that is an endless learning and progressing mindset. The second thing is as we learn new skills, we can sometimes take for granted what we've learned. And sometimes we have to go back and just make sure that we know those things. Not only that we know those things, but we're implementing the important things. It's very easy to get busy and forget the fundamentals. It's very easy to become immersed in the urgent and forget about those big movers that produce results. Easy to get into the 80% and forget about the 20%. A beginner's mindset allows you to go back to what got you where you are. Now, in some cases, when we get promoted or we increase our business, we leave behind those lessons learned in the first stage or that, that we learned as a beginner. And that's fine because as we progress, again, think about it this way. What's producing results for you now may not be what will produce results in the future. But like with martial arts, when you achieved, say, black belt, over time, that belt was designed to fray, and the threads of it were white. So over time, what you realized is that your training just began, even though you achieved a high level. It was a reminder that we are all continually learning, and that a beginner's mindset doesn't only apply to being a beginner. It is a tool and a useful resource we can use at any time. In fact, I know when I'm meeting someone new, opening up a new territory or client or customer, I love to be new. I love to say, I don't know what your needs are. So let's talk about them. And I know I've gotten trapped where I should know those things and I feel embarrassed that I don't sometimes with a client. But it's important that we let that go. Don't be afraid to ask an innocent question. Sometimes people will preface it by saying, I'd like to ask a stupid question. But the truth is, no question is stupid if you have it. 
because it's a gap in knowledge. I love what Jerry Seinfeld said once, that pain is a great way of information rushing in where there was a gap. When you were walking across the bedroom, you didn't know that that bedpost was right there where you were putting your toe. But that pain rushed in to let you know. <laughs> and while that's funny, the truth is we need to fill those gaps in. And as long as we have a fixed mindset and we're afraid to show what we don't know, well, then we're going to miss out. In fact, you can become very good at being a beginner and yet realize you're not. Again, it's a balance of experience, but utilizing the fundamentals of a beginner's mindset, Shoshin, being able to really utilize that when we need it to progress our work. Thanks again for joining me in having another cup, adopting a beginner's mindset.